What's up YouTube, what's up Ubuntu users? So today I'm gonna show you a quick and convenient way to uh, change your boot menu entries um, that you are presented with each time you start up your machine when you've installed Ubuntu. So you will know the screen, it should look familiar. And let's say I wanna make Windows 8 my standard choice to be booted each time um, when my system starts. Well, let's say I just want to remove the memtest entries because I never use them. Um, well, um, originally you would have to, to achieve this, you would have to edit cryptical text files and stuff. But I will show you a tool, um, a very convenient way to um, do this with a nice graphical user interface in no time. Okay, so um, just uh, that you understand what this tool does, I will show you the original way that you would have to do it. You would have to open a terminal and then start some kind of text editor as a super user. Um, and edit the boot config, sorry, the boot grub, grub config file um, in order to um, to get gain access to the boot menu values. So um, you can see the boot menu, you do see the boot menu here. And um, well, you could edit this text file uh, on, and then you would have to edit another one, which is etc default um, grub config. Um, so you could edit like these text files like it was 1989 or you could just do it a convenient and quick way by using a software called grub customizer, which we are going to install now. So the first step to install the software is you want to add the developer's repositories to your repositories by issuing sudo apt add apt repository and then the repository of the developer Daniel Richter who seems to be a German guy judging from his name <laughs> then um, you have to press enter when it asks you to do so thereby adding this repository to your list of repositories you want to issue sudo apt get update in order to make sure that you get the newest files from each um, that you update the list of um, repositories so and once that's done you are ready to install this software and um, yeah shouldn't take too long now it's done you just type in sudo app get install grub minus customizer okay this will take just a few seconds and now it's done and I can open up this thing um, when I click on the search button here on top left of the unity desktop Click on applications and when you type in grub, you see I already did that, you will find uh, the grub customizer. So you just type in your password because you are going to make s changes to your system. And um, this, is, uh, this is your boot menu and what this does is it reads the file, the grub config file that I just show showed you. and. Um, then um, you, if you make changes, it will perform the relevant changes uh, in the, will make the rele relevant changes to the config file. So let's say I want to have Windows 7 uh, boot up each time I start my system. I'm just going to highlight this entry and click the top arrow until this entry is moved to the to the very top, because um, this is because the first uh, entry is the entry that will be booted by default each time I power up my computer. So now it will boot uh, Windows 7 um, and uh, just uh, would have to click on save and then that's it and um, but I don't want to do that <laughs> so I'm just gonna move that down again okay um, let's say you uh, want to delete the memtest uh, entries just highlight them and click on remove that's it um, so you can see if you made a mistake you can click on restore anytime and boom your entries are back okay um, Let's say you um, are annoyed by the waiting time, that uh, you think 10 seconds of uh, wait until the uh, grub uh, bootloader selects an entry automatically is too long. You can just click on general settings and reduce that time. See the amount of seconds here. Um, I do have to tell you that um, whenever you change something here, especially when it comes to the kernel parameters, you should be very... Sh you should you should know what you're doing basically because if you make a wrong change here maybe your system doesn't start okay um so um that's it you know that's uh, that's how you change your grub uh, config and uh, thereby changing your um, boot order or customizing the grub menu if you like this video feel free to subscribe to my channel